In a previous video about dogs and rules, I mentioned that we've taught our Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Freddy, door manners. Now, teaching dogs door manners does divide opinion amongst some people. Some people love nothing more than seeing a dog bound out of the door, eager to go and explore things, get some fresh air and get some exercise. And if you live on a farm in the middle of nowhere, then great, that would probably work for you. But the rest of us should maybe taking a bit more care when leaving the house with our dogs because quite often there's a road outside and there's a whole host of potential dangers. So I'm going to tell you how and why we trained Freddy to be polite at the door and why it's something that I think you should start doing with your dog straight away. I'm Matt and this is the School Doggery YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube and come find us on all the good social medias. We are at School Doggery. Every time we leave the house, whether it's by the front door or the back door, Freddy has to sit, wait for a human to go out first, and then he's only allowed out once he's given us some eye contact and he's told that he can break. It may seem excessive that we're controlling his access to outdoors like this, but it helps him keep safe in the moment and plays into a much bigger picture of working on his impulse control. Anyone who owns a Staffy will know that they can be impulsive little buggers. Helping a dog work on their impulses affects so much of their lives and help them fit in better with us and gives us the reassurance that we can trust our dog. If a dog has no control over its impulses, then it can start to develop all kinds of unwanted behaviours. They can steal things, they can jump up people, they can chase the cat up the curtains, the list goes on and on. Dogs are naturally curious and it's one of the things that I love about them. But by giving them some boundaries, we can help them investigate what they want to, but safely and without being a nuisance. People often overlook these everyday situations when they're getting a dog and don't think about the ways to make the mundane part of their obedience training. I've certainly found that people will show you a dog doing a whole host of flashy tricks dancing around everywhere, but then that dog is a nightmare to live with around the house because it has no rules to live by. So adding door manners to your daily routine with your dog isn't just about safety, it's an amazing training opportunity that you will naturally go through several times every single day. Every time that you ask your dog to wait patiently at the door until they're told that they can go through, it really does increase the amount of respect that they have for you. Dogs love rules and are at the best when they know what's expected of them. So if you can instill door manners and have them naturally looking to you four or five times a day, they know that you're looking out for them, that you've got their best interests at heart and that you can be trusted. It's like a little level up of their obedience every single time you do it. So the way to teach your dog this is to first make sure that they know what sit means. If they don't know what sit means and you need a little bit of a refresher on how to formally teach it to them, then let me bring in Ted here to help show you. All you're going to do is get a little piece of treat, hold it in front of their face like that, and then just gently lift it above their head. Dogs can't lift their necks up too far. So if you keep lifting the nice thing, they're going to have to sit down so that they can increase their sight line like that. When their bottom hits the floor, you just give it a sit and mark it like that. Give them the treat and say, well done. Do that a couple of times. Sit, give them the treat. So we're lowering the behavior, we're marking at the behavior, we're rewarding the behavior. If you do this several times a day with them, they will just start to sit on command and sometimes they will just offer it to you as a nice behavior. Then we can level it up to door manners. Thank you, Ted. That was your debut. You did very good, mate. Well done. So when you want to take them outside, open the door and block it off slightly with your leg, with your arm, with anything that you can to just prevent them from going straight outside. Ask them to do a sit and to make eye contact with you. And the moment that they do, give them a break, move out of the way, use whatever word you're going to to mean, okay, you can go and let them go through the door. If your dog isn't used to giving lots of eye contact, don't force them to stare at you for too long. It's something to build up naturally and slowly. Even just half a second of eye contact is a great start. Gradually build up the time that they're sat for, and before you know it, they will be automatically sitting every time you open that door and looking up at you with no prompting at all. Then if you compare this with asking them to sit and wait for meals or when you're giving them a toy, you're really going to start to improve your leadership tens of times a day with no extra effort on your part. Freddy knows that if he wants anything, all he has to do is to sit politely for a moment, wait until he's allowed, and then he'll get everything that his little heart desires. We've gone through door manners with him every single day since he was eight weeks old, and he is an absolute pro at it by now. 
Because he knows to be polite, he is a joy to live with and makes everything he's involved with so much easier. Thanks so much if you've made it to the end. Let us know in the comments if this is something that you're going to try and do with your dog. And if you do, please tag us in the results on social media where we are at School Doggery Everywhere. Until next time, look after yourselves and your dogs.